السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ پیشنس اینڈ ٹالرنس از دا بلسڈ گفٹ آف اللہ فار اس وی ہیو ٹو یوز اٹ ایٹ پراپر پلیس ان آرڈر ٹو گیٹ سکسیس ان دس ورلڈ اینڈ دا ورلڈ ہیئر آفٹر دا پیپل ہو یوز از دیم دے گیٹ دا بیسٹ اسٹیٹس and the development in this world also and same they get development and prosperity at the day of judgment mashallah so allah blessed so many people this quality and they use it but some people they are just to lose temper very quickly they become angry they become they are annoyed themselves and make the environment and other people annoyed also so those people they are in a strange situation because if something happened to them or if someone hurt to them they try to revenge it as quick as possible they have no tolerance no patience they are not to forgive them but they are trying to revenge from the person and for revenge you have seen like when a person for example if a person slap one slap to other person the other person slapped other one in response three times so the actual he got one slap but he has given to other person three slap so it mean two extra so these two extra these are these are written by the angels at the day of judgment allah will do intiqam because allah is muntaqim allah will will have to give authority to that person that you are two slaps are remaining because this person he slapped you thrice but it was one the one was equality that has been done but two extra now you are allowed to slap him so that person will get the authority at the day of judgment to slap that person before the whole people of the universe when they will be there and some people if allah will be angry on this type of sinful thing they will have to get their punishment in the hell fire also so this way is very important for us to keep patience and tolerance and try to forgive other people in order to get success and and better position in the day of judgment so because tolerance and patience it raises the status like if you are at one stair then your stair like in the posting will increase you will you will raise the stairs like your position will go up and up and you will have a higher put status or higher position also in this world also and the world here after also this is because of your tolerance and patience and even if you look in surah zumur ayat number uh, 37 اللہ سد اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ومن یهد الله فما له من مدل الیس الله بعزیز زنتقام سو اللہ سد لائک ان دس ایت یو کین گیٹ دا انفارمیشن لائک فار ایگزامپل اف یو ار ا گڈ پرسن یو ار فالوئنگ قران و سنہ یو ار ا گڈ مسلم یو ار فالوئنگ قران و سنہ automatically you are at right guidance 
So when you are at right guidance, you are a friend of Allah. Then if someone is coming to hit you, or coming to tease you, or coming to disturb you, don't worry. That person will be disturbed, will have suffering also, because Allah will do in the calm. Allah will revenge your from that person, so that person will suffer whatever the person has done. Like Allah said in this ayat, وَمَنْ يَحْدِ اللَّهُ And when Allah is just to give right guidance to a person, فَمَا لَهُ مِنْ مُدِلْ Then no one is in a position to make this, this person to go astray. So, Allah is Allah be aziz in jintikam. Then, if a person who is trying to do that, so Allah said, Allah is Allah, then Allah is uh, aziz, the supreme jintikam, to have avenge. So, Allah is the best avenger for that person. So, that person will get the benefit because because the person who is in love with Allah who is a best person who is good person have have tolerance and patience and uh, is at right guidance so that person is not when he is he is being halt he is not to go response he will leave it to Allah and Allah is a friend of that person automatically the person who halt him who disturb him, so that person will get the suffering of it soon in this world also, and at the day of judgment, that person will have this, this punishment also. So this will keep in mind that a person who is uh, who is at right guidance and doing everything for Allah, and uh, that person is nice and following Quran and Sunnah. You are not to not to disturb that person. Otherwise, this disturbance will bring the intakam of Allah from you, and you will be under the suffering in this world, and also the world hereafter. You will have to face it. Very important for us to look at this. Even if you look when a person is just to, to leave the guidance which Allah has given to you through the Holy Quran. Then Allah said, no problem. If you refused to accept my ordinance, no problem. When you will come to me at the day of judgment, I will do the avenge of that. So Allah is the best avenger so you will have to be given the suffering of what you have done in this world like Allah said in Surah Ali Imran ayat number 4 Uzubillah min shaitan al-rajim min qablu hudan lin nasi wa anzal al-furqan Allah said before you Allah has given the guidance to the people also and Allah has given them Furqan, the book that was giving the differentiation between the good and bad halal and haram indeed the people who refused the ayatillah the Allah's ayat who refused the Allah's verses Allah's ordinance lahum azabun shadid they will have to suffer the biggest torment. Wallahu azizun juntikam. And indeed, Allah is the supreme avenger. So at the day of judgment, the people, they have to face it because they have to get the suffering of that, whatever they have done here. Because if they disobey it, they have, they have to go into suffering of this. So day of judgment is not easy. So this way Wallahu Azizun don't come. And Allah said also in Surah Dukhan ayat number 16, 
يوم نبتش البطشة القبرى إن منتقمون so the grip of Allah is so hard that is too much biggest hard إن منتقمون Allah said don't worry then we will revenge you avenge you at the day of judgment you will see there don't worry so this way is for us this is the time we have to look even you can see in surah sajda ayat number 22 allah said auzubillahi minash-shaitani r-rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim wa man azlamu mimman dhukkira bi ayati rabbih thumma arada anha inna minal mujrimina muntaqimun so allah said wa man azlamu who is the zalim the wrong doer mimman zukira bi ayati when that person is given the advice from his lord from the book from the ordinance of allah like bi ayati rabbihi so allah's ayat allah's verses when the person is given is given uh, the advice from the ayat of his lord summa arada anha then this person deviate this person leave them aside inna minal mujrimina so allah said these people they are mujrim so they are they have done a crime and muntaqimun and allah said no problem we will avenge from them don't worry so that day of judgment when they will come they have to face the consequences of it before allah so like for example if you can see in the holy quran allah said you have to pray five times a day when you are inviting one person okay come to pray with me in and we pray with congregation in masjid come on we can go together the other person he he is he is just to say you in a, in a in a in a jokeful world or some words which are like disgraceful uh, then you must understand that disgracefulness is not to do you but it is going to the command of allah that is in holy quran that you have to aqimu salata so is is to that similarly that person will have to suffer in this world and the world year after also allah said these people are mujrimin and allah will take the uh, revenge of that is allah said i will have because allah used the word in this ayat muntaqimun so these so this way so when you for example if a person who who is earning who is earning who has uh, Uh, business and you say the person okay you have to pay zakat that person uh, is just to say you some bad words so even the person is muslim so that person it mean that person these bad word what he said that is going to the holy quran the verse of allah because allah said wa'atu zakata so that person said Uh, he never said a uh, uh, good word he said some uh, jokeful word or something so these are going to allah's uh, quran so this way be careful when something that that has uh, uh, that that order of that came in holy quran through the verses of holy quran then you are you must be kind and you must be more respectful otherwise you will have to be ready for the sufferings that will come to you in this world and the world here after also very important to you have to look at that so this way <clears throat> we are learning today allah's uh, from allah's 99 names allah's name is muntaqim so muntaqim avenger so allah allah avenge whatever you do here if that is good you are following quran or sunnah mashallah but if you are ignoring or you turn away from that then must be ready at the day of judgment allah said wallahu azizun zuntikam so then you will have to be in suffering whatever you have done here because you have not followed the quran or sunnah what allah said you have to follow it 
this way inna batsha rabbika la shadid so keep in mind indeed the grip of your lord is the hard one you have to face at the day of judgment if you want to like uh, you want that uh, uh you have enemy but your enemy is very hard and you want enemy should not do anything any any disturbance to you and uh, he must be he must leave the enmity and be a good person to you no problem then you have to read after salatul juma or if after salatul juma if you have no time then on the friday night you have to read 100 time only ya muntaqimu ya muntaqimu ya muntaqimu read it at least 3 friday nights inshallah your enemy will forget the enmity and be kind to you inshallah so if you want to if you want to start a new job or something new you feel that while you starting job you have a problem sometime uh, you know the when you in during the job is not completed because because some problem comes in the way so in order to finish the problem so you want the smooth running of your job so you need you need to read allah's name ya muntaqimu ya muntaqimu 71 time before starting inshallah everything will be fine then so same like that if you are going in a journey so you have to read at least 41 time ya muntaqimu ya muntaqimu ya muntaqimu so then start your journey so no any any person who is uh, jealous from you who is enemy who has enmity or any person who want to rob you or any thief or someone will not be in a position to disturb you you will be completely safe and you will come back safe also so you have to read ya muntaqimu 41 time then you start journey mashallah it will be full safety alhamdulillah if your eyes are feeling sore or feeling pain no problem you have to read ya muntaqimu ya muntaqimu ya muntaqimu 11 time and blow on your hand and wipe on your eyes or blow on the water and wash your eyes so do it at least five six times a day every day up to three four days you will be inshallah better same like this <clears throat> if a person who is a, who feel that some person has done the black magic the the very hard black magic has been done and now there is a, no any solution to remove the influence of black magic don't worry then you have to start reading ya muntaqimu 6400 times but start it up to 40 days then the complete influence of the black magic will finish inshallah similarly if a person who is at right track so but uh, some person who is becoming enemy and creating trouble for that person so you have to read after salatul juma 100 time only ya muntaqimu ya muntaqimu then make dua about that thing which is uh, disturbing you from the person so inshallah that will be finish and you will feel peace inshallah but when you are sleeping if you feel at night time you feel that there is there may be the attack of enemy or something happen will happen to you don't worry before sleeping you have to read 70 time ya muntaqimu ya muntaqimu ya muntaqimu inshallah your sleeping will be completely full peaceful and safe so if you have some type of some type of good desire that you need to be fulfilled 
don't worry at midnight you have to read 3000 time ya muntakimu then make a dua inshallah allah will fulfill you are the best desire inshallah if you have a, a problem in the court like you have some type of allegation about the sexual intercourse or about Uh, the drinking alcohol or something other which you have not done but that some person has has done it uh, um, against you this type of uh, uh, allegation in the court then if you want to, to get freedom from it so don't worry you have to read ya muntakimu ya muntakimu 1100 time every day inshallah so until your decision is made till this time you have to continue so inshallah you will get freedom from that type of allegation same like this <clears throat> if you feel so you have started some type of job but in between there are some hurdles and job is not coming to be smooth and and parallel nice way then you have to you have to wake up at midnight and start reading ya muntakimu ya muntakimu 360 times inshallah your job will be smooth and you will get the goal inshallah so similarly if you feel that you have a biggest enemy that enemy is a politically sounded person and very terrible man or person who want to disturb you any time so no problem after at at friday every friday after salatul asr stay there and read ya muntakimu ya muntakimu 777 time a triple seven times inshallah do it every friday inshallah you will get full safety and the biggest enemy will not be in a position to do to harm you you will be fully protected and will get to safety and peace with the help of allah inshallah allah bless us in this world and the world hereafter health safety and goodness so that we should have a good face at the day of judgment before allah allah give us tawfeeq ameen